I have discovered that lots of people who use computers regularly for things like email don't have a basic grasp of some of the common terms that describe the things that are on a given Microsoft computer. So this is going to be a very basic discussion of some of those computer terms. The first item is your operating system. Now you used to be able to uh, just go to the start button and click that and it would show you what your operating system is. But in this day and age, you have to go down here to the start button, right click, and then left click system. When you left click system, it will bring you up a portion of your control panel, which will tell you what operating system you're using. You just scroll down it and it says Windows specifications, Windows 10 home and the version you were on and so forth. And of course, this also tells you what kind of a computer you have, uh, what the name of it is, when it was installed, uh, the product ID and a whole bunch of other things. So that's how you find out which Windows operating system you are using. Next, we are going to talk about programs on your computer. Uh, if this were a smartphone, we'd be talking about apps, which of course is short for applications. But programs and applications are the same thing. Your operating system controls your entire computer. It runs your desktop and your start menu and lets you get at programs. But programs are the things that do the stuff you want to do on your computer, like open a word processing program and type, or like open TurboTax and do your income tax. Let me give you an example. If we come over here to uh, the desktop, oops, if we come over here to the desktop and I can maybe make the desktop stay, there we are, you see that I have no icons on my desktop right now. Well, that's because I have them turned off. If you, want to, if you have yours turned off, or if you want to turn them off, you right-click somewhere on your desktop, and it brings up a menu which includes View. And when you look at View, one of the options is Show Desktop Icons, which is not checked right now, so there are none. But if I click that, I will get all my desktop icons. And those include quite a few programs. These are shortcuts to programs. The little icons that have arrows in the lower left-hand corner, the little arrow indicates this is a shortcut. And if I were to double click on this TurboTax 2017, it would open TurboTax's tax preparing program and I could uh, prepare my taxes if I hadn't already done it. If I uh, go to another icon that has a, a shortcut, that also is a program. It, uh, it is a program called Microsoft Edge, which is a browser. There are other browsers on here. There's Google Chrome, which I use. And there's somewhere on here, Internet Explorer. Where is it with the other E? Maybe it is not pulled up because 
Microsoft is pushing Edge these days instead of Internet Explorer. So a lot of these icons on your desktop are programs. The other place where you can probably find programs, depending on how your computer is set up, is on your taskbar, which is this space down on the bottom of your computer. And each one of these icons is a program. Here is Microsoft Word, which I am running right now because I've got that up on that uh, outline of this particular presentation. Here is Google, Google Chrome, which has my emails on it, among other things. These are programs. Here's Internet Explorer. There is Firefox. And uh, that's about all I'm going to have to say about applications, App well, except for this. What is an application? What is a program? They are pieces of software that can run on your computer to allow you to do things. Write a Word document. You can do that in Microsoft Word. Let's talk about word processing programs. I have Microsoft Word on here. It is Microsoft Word as part of Microsoft Office Professional 2010. You used to be able to come over in this top row and click uh, help and then click help and then down below it said about. But now when you want to know the details about a particular program, you go down under file to help and when you get there, you can see uh, what version of that particular program you're talking about. Now, Microsoft Word is a fine uh, word processing program, but it's expensive. You have to either buy Microsoft Office for one big chunk of money, or you have to uh, Nowadays, you can subscribe to Office at 365, I believe it is, and you pay every year. Well, there are free applications, free programs. One of them is LibreOffice. If I go down here, right next to Word, and click this, see it says LibreOffice Writer. LibreOffice is a free version of an Office program, which includes Writer, which is their word for a word processing program. It includes uh, LibreCalc, which is their version over here. It's their version of a spreadsheet program. See there, LibreOffice Calc and some other things like a, like a database program. And it's free. If you go to the internet, let's go back to my uh, Google Chrome, which is running. Come on, Google Chrome, where are you? There you are right there. And if I go to a new tab, start that new tab, and type in LibreOffice, L-I-B-R-E, which is uh, Spanish for free, among other things. I go to LibreOffice. It will show me a place where I can download a free office suite from LibreOffice. That's worth your consideration. So, we have talked about your operating system, which you get to by going down to the uh, lower left of your computer and clicking this Windows icon, or you can get to it by typing your Windows key on your computer keyboard, 
which is one or two keys to the left of your space bar on the lower left-hand portion of your uh, keyboard. I'm typing that Windows key right now, and when I do, the operating system brings up a list of programs, which you can scroll down on by dragging this scroll bar to the right and find all the programs on your computer. A lot of them are down here under Wind Windows. There's Windows Accessories. When I open that up, it shows uh, Internet Explorer that I was talking about before, a, an Internet Browser program. It shows a couple of very simple word processing programs, Notepad and WordPad. And then there are Windows Administrative Tools, which includes um, Disk Cleanup, Computer Management, Event Viewer, all sorts of things that can help you manage your computer and other Windows sections here. Windows Ease of Access. If you need magnifier to magnify what's on your screen, you can do that. And when it starts, you can look at things at 200% the size that they were before just by scrolling to various places on your computer, like this particular outline that I have. And you can get rid of it by clicking there. At any rate, that's your operating system. We've talked about your programs. Now let's talk about files and folders. This item right here that says operating system dot docx. That is a file. That's what I named this particular Word document after I'd put it together. And it is a file. Files are things that you can get at with programs. Uh, photos are files. Most of them in your computer are probably JPEG files. After each file name, this file name is operating systems, there is a dot. And after that, there is a group of letters that tells you what kind of a file that is. A DOCX file is a modern Microsoft Word file. Uh, earlier Microsoft Word files were DOC, and then along came, I think, at 2010, I think they changed what Microsoft Word produced from DOCs to DOCXs. Files can be, as I said, Word documents. They can be photos. They can be audio recordings. They can be videos. Each type, of each type of file in your computer has this suffix that tells the computer what it is. And when you click on this in, a, uh, in, in, uh, in Windows Explorer, File Explorer, the DOCX tells your computer to open Microsoft Word and then have Microsoft Word open this file. That's the sort of thing that your operating system does. It polices and, and uh, marshals and organizes the files in your computer to tell the various applications or programs what to do with them. Let's give you some examples. And in the process of talking about files, we'll talk about folders. 
To get at any file in your computer, you come down here to your taskbar and you click this thing that looks like a bunch of file folders in a little holder that sits on top of your desk. And that's exactly what it is. It's called File Explorer. And when you open it, it brings up a system showing you all the files and all the folders in your computer. For example, if I come over here to the left and click Documents Often Used, it will show you a whole bunch of folders. These are folders that I have set up to hold my files. There's a folder about AOL, my email program. There's a folder about barbershoppers, which is about the Sounds of Aloha Barbershop Chorus with which I sing while in Hawaii. There's a folder about computer stuff. And there are folders within folders. If I double click this computer stuff folder, there are other folders about backup, about the Dell Inspiron, which is the computer that I'm currently using. And uh, what do you know? LibreOffice. This is the way that you keep track of where your files are. Uh, if you want to go and find the one that you've been looking at, you go over here to the quick access where it says Camtasia 2, which is where I'm keeping my Camtasia recordings for presentations like this. And under Camtasia 2, there is a folder called Basic Computer Terms. And if I click on that, there is a DOCX program called Operating Systems. And if I double click on that, it will take me to that uh, Microsoft Word program, which we've been looking at right there. That just about covers what I set out to do for this presentation. We've covered your operating system, how to find out what it is. We've covered programs, what they are and where you find them and how you start them. And we've covered, in not very much detail, files and folders and how to find them on your computer and open them. There are plenty of other presentations about this general subject listed in my list of Hank's mini seminars, which you can find by going to the Seniors Computer Group website and clicking resources. There are, there's one on uh, how to save your files so you can find them again later. That seems to be a bugaboo for new computer users. They say, I know I click save, but I don't know where it is now. Well, this tells you how not to end up like that. And there are plenty of others on the subject of uh, applications, programs, files, and folders that you can find by browsing through that list of many seminars. If you've enjoyed this particular program, I hope you will go to the bottom. And if you're uh, if you are watching it at home on your computer, if you go to the bottom, you can see a place where you can subscribe to this channel of YouTube so you would see new presentations that I record and put up on YouTube. And you can click the thumbs up or the thumbs down, depending on whether or not you like this presentation. Thank you.